All right, I'm bouncing because Stella is with me. So we had two blind consults. Both of them were astronomically expensive, so we're gonna probably end up ordering and DIYing the blinds just because like it's thousands and thousands and I look online at the prices of the windows and or the blinds I mean and they're just like a quarter of the price so I think we'll do it ourselves but there's what our range looks like I don't know if I showed it like up close when it was all put together I really really like it I got Stella in my arms I love that all of these lift up so you can just easily clean any of the sections which is awesome it's not bad and they're being silly. Our range that we have now, like you can't get to the middle one without taking off both side pieces, which is ridiculous. And I use the middle one the most, so I always get stuff everywhere. So it's so awesome. <laughs> you guys are the worst. <laughs> you hear those stinkers? They are such stinkers. I love I could just get to it. So I'm really excited to have five. They're nice and big. Like I got a tiny one for tiny things. I'm really excited about that. I don't know where they put the little griddle thing, but it also comes with a griddle that'll fit on one of the sides. I can't remember. They are just stinker stinkers. Stop that. I hear them. Now we're gonna go up. All right, so we were just here to measure and check out what they were doing. And look at this. Oh my word, here, I'll hold with the other hand. They definitely took off the door. So the solution was to take off the door and move it over and it ends up making that 14 inches on this side. I don't wanna go over here too much. I think we gotta fix all this stuff and end all those wires. We had to redo the whole thing. So it's gonna be 14 inches there versus the like nine inches it was. So it will have enough room. Johnny measured the shelves and they definitely are gonna fit now, which is awesome. So they did a really good job <laughs> removing all that and fixing and patching. They really did good. And then in here, the solution is to move the toilet over a little bit. And there's plenty of room to do that. So lots of room. They're just gonna move the toilet over a little bit. And then the door will close. Cause it's like right at the, right at the very little bit. It needs like, <laughs> like a quarter of an inch at most. So that is gonna be good that they can move that over. They're already doing this. We're getting down to the last couple weeks. This is no makeup day and Stella is tired. She's just snuggling with mommy. You see yourself, baby? She needs a little nap. She's not, I think we're both just still not feeling great. We're just bouncing and bouncing. Johnny said it's starting to look really good. So I'm glad he's happy with it too. I'm the one that's like, you know, obsessed with all the house stuff. We're downstairs now. So he's been like all along, he's like, oh, well, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty good. And today he's like, wow, this is starting to look really good. And he's like more on the page with me where I'm just like obsessed with everything. And I was like, oh, I love this. I love this. He's like, wow, this kitchen looks awesome. This looks awesome. And he's going through everything and like, it's looking really good. And I'm like, yes. Finally, he's as enthusiastic as I am about it. So that's pretty much it. We're just waiting for a couple of repairs. We've got our inspection this week and then the walkthrough this week and the next week we close. So it's getting down to the very end. And that's it for today. Not much new, just fixing up the last little bits. Bubbles. Neighbors build. That's what everybody wants to see on their job site right there for their future home. Look at that. Really pretty in here. They just drywalled it, but I was hearing them work on it. So I don't know what this is. Maybe this is their media room. Their layout's totally different than ours. It's cool. Very beautiful. And they have like the most gorgeous windows everywhere. Look at that. That's going to be kitchen. Their house is going to be fantastic too. We're just walking the walking trails. And I didn't bring the jogger. <laughs> Got a jiggle, baby. Look at those chicks jiggling. The sun's starting to peek out, so we're gonna have to turn back. But it's very, very cloudy, and we weren't facing the sun last round. So we're just walking and walking fools. Alright, time to turn around.
it's so hard that you gotta go to the doctor soon. <laughs> it's time to wake up, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody learned a cool new trick in the back and play. She's supposed to be taking a nap. Instead, she's doing that. <laughs> I'm trying to tackle things for 15 minutes, but I keep hearing her do that. But I guess it's way better than crying, so I guess I'll take that until she wears herself out. Hopefully, she'll still take a good nap. There's my pile I gotta work on. Uh, what was that? <laughs> and we're opening up the vlog. It is Sammy and Stelly from Sammy's Sweet Life. It is inspection day and we have our walkthrough with the builder on Friday. So we're gonna get this done. We're gonna have our walkthrough. We're just singing to Raffi while I got my makeup on. Just minimal makeup today. we just put that champagne primer on. We're just looking at ourselves in the mirror. And I'm about to get her dressed. It's 65 right now, but it's gonna get up to the 80s. So it's gonna be time to go play. Yeah. We're gonna do a real quick Costco run and come back home. Lots of playing. <gasps> Who's that? That's you. <laughs> Yeah, she's mesmerized by that baby. Who's that baby? Who is that baby? This is still a baby. <laughs> We're seriously in the last row. <laughs> hey, there's there's the last row. We're right here. It was insane. We got here 20 minutes after opening. It was like Black Friday. It's like crazy doomsday right now. I just needed things that were on sale. I didn't get anything crazy. Okay, I think she's actually asleep finally. It was just really, really bad. She did great at Costco. She did great most of the drive home. We were like five minutes from home and she just starts absolutely losing her mind. She's just screaming at the top of her lungs, really upset. So at this point, I just know she's tired. So I knew I needed to nurse her when we got home and put her down for sleep. And she just was inconsolable. It was just crazy because I had to unload a couple of things. I had one frozen thing. I had to change her diaper, change her whole outfit because she had spit up on her the front of her outfit so it was kind of wet and then nursed her and she seemed like she was falling asleep and then the second I set her down she's inconsolable again so I'm like doing the checking on her every few minutes and making sure she's okay and not flipped over and like staring at the monitor obsessively doing the whole song and dance and I think she's finally going to sleep fingers crossed it was just a lot so I am really tired I got everything set up so I can film the haul and I also started some Trader Joe's mini beef tacos they're in the toaster oven right now so I'm gonna eat we have about 35 minutes until it's time to go do the inspection I'll just pop her right in the car seat and we'll go and she'll sleep in the car probably and then I'll nurse her when we get there probably so that's my like game plan moving forward I'll show you guys everything I hope to introduce our realtor I'm pretty sure I have not introduced him yet it's the same inspector who did the pre drywall inspection Lewis so I'll leave his info down below if you're in the Austin area and I absolutely love our realtor he's actually from a neighborhood right next to the neighborhood and his kids go to the same schools that our kids will go to. So he really knows the area and she's crying. <laughs> she's not asleep, dang it. OMG, she is still not asleep. Now she's rolling around. So I'm assuming she's probably not gonna sleep. <laughs> if she cries again, I'm gonna have to get her and nurse her and then we'll leave <laughs> and uh, she'll sleep in the car. I know she will. So. This is gonna be my lunch. I am out of salsa, I can't believe it. I'm usually never out of salsa, so I'm gonna make sure to get that on the list. These are those Trader Joe's mini beef tacos, and I have half of a sumo mandarin. It just didn't fit in Liv's lunchbox, so I went ahead and saved it for myself. And that's gonna be lunch. I still have to do my haul for this, but she's just not been asleep, so it's impossible right now. I have to grab the camera. Why are you not sleeping? 
Huh? You should be sleeping right now. Why are you awake? She gave me the biggest smile when I walked in and she saw me. She's being a stinker. All right. You need to sleep, little goober. I put her in their little flamingo outfit. Super cute. Here's my setup. Food. Drink. Babe. I swear she's tired. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You're a goober. This one. This one's supposed to be sleeping. Why are you goofing? She was just laughing at me for no reason. I'm just sitting here. Why are you laughing at me? When I eat, her mouth is going. Oh. It's going to be time for food soon for this girl. She's getting interested all of a sudden. Oh! Mm. Yeah, that mouth. Just like that. That mouth keeps going. When Mama's eating. Yeah, you're getting excited. Oh, oh my word. <laughs> So I got a call right as I was trying to get us ready to go that our inspector had something come up and he can't be there. So we're going to meet him after we pick Livy up. And so Stella actually went down for sleep. And again, we had the like the fussing, the checking on her a bunch of times and all together, like this whole ordeal took like an hour. So I am fried listening to her cry. Just totally frazzles my brain. It just scrambles it. So I am zombied. I am just going to hang out, watch some YouTube until it's time to pick Livy up. And hopefully this nap will be good. This is her first nap of the day. And it is, it's like one o'clock. So it's bad. She's definitely overtired at this point. And I'm just going to try to relax. It was pretty stressful listening to her just ramps me up. I've got to do the Costco haul and that's it. And <laughs> then I'm just going to sit here. You see what she did? She jammed herself in the side there. Oh my gosh. And I did end up having three crib sheets. That's a dark pink one. She is a wiggle worm and she is ready to be in a crib. <laughs> as soon as we move, we're gonna set that crib up for her. See, isn't working. So we are here getting our car checked out. My family run recommended place. They're just gonna check it out right now. There's little stuff. What are you doing? Look at those tootsies. Look at those tootsies. There you are, Stella baby. <laughs> She's watching sis make a big old mess with the water. And what did you call it? Ho Happy Holy Moly? Yeah. Yeah, come closer so I can <gasps> see all your, your what is it, powder? Yes. Yeah, she's covered in the color powder from the color festival they did at school. So she's got this set up. They have a grandson. They have the water going. There were chickens too. It was awesome. So we're having lots of fun. Libby fed it some pirate's booty. Okay, I'm gonna fill you guys in later. Thankfully, we have salad stuff, so I'm just gonna make some shrimp to go with the salad. We can just put it over the top, take off the tails, and luckily they have this commercial convection oven. It's not a commercial convection, but it is a convection, so we're gonna give these directions a try. 350, 12 to 14 yeah. minutes, so we will see. It says turn after six minutes. So we're gonna try this. Libby doesn't generally like shrimp. She likes only popcorn shrimp. So hopefully this is close enough to that that she'll give it a try. If not, she's got some turkey slices she can have. We're just gonna make it work. I'll fill you guys in on all the crazies later today. They look like they're gonna be good. I'm gonna pop these in, just have them on some parchment paper. So we had wraps last night 
and used up some of the salad stuff. So I've already got salad stuff chopped, ready to go. There's a little bit of the turkey slices left. She can have that if she doesn't like the shrimp. And then one slice of cheese. So maybe she'll have another croissant sandwich. She likes that. But we've got salad stuff. Where's our lettuce? Lettuce and carrots up there. We really need to get rid of that cake. <laughs> That's the cookie cake. So we're good for things. I just have to get those shrimp heated and then it'll be time to eat. Lynn's watching Powerpuff Girls while I get this ready. I've got our salads here. We've got the butter, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, carrots. This one's Johnny's. He doesn't have salad dressing. I have that ginger miso dressing, which I love. There's Livy's deconstructed one without tomatoes. And then I've got the shrimp here. I'm going to just peel the tails off, chop them up, and give everybody some. And I also have to get the croutons and the French onions out. And here we go. I added some salt and pepper. And I've got to put the toppings on, and then it's time to eat. There's Liv's plate right there. So like tingly and numb feeling. Now, I am frazzled. <laughs> I got so sweaty in the car. It was really, really bad. So dinner was great. Livy didn't want her shrimp. So I ended up having to go nurse Stella while they were still finishing up. And I just said, leave her plate because I want to eat her shrimp. So I'm going to snack on that. She did a good job. She really cleaned that plate up. There's her little cup. She's still digging these straws from her birthday party. There's the rainbow cup. There's that, and then I'm gonna just snack on this. It was really, really good. I'm so glad I got those shrimp so that I could make a really quick dinner. I do have some grilled chicken and some shredded chicken in the freezer. I could have heated that up as well, but I was really glad to try something new, have the shrimp over it. I just love that salad. I really try to keep those ingredients on hand most of the time for quick nights like tonight where I am totally fried. We still had something really delicious, really healthy, and it took, basically it took as long as the shrimp took to heat up. Like, 15 or so minutes and dinner was on the table. I still have more cucumbers and tomatoes and one more bag of lettuce in the fridge so we can make some more. I was just really glad I already had some of it prepped so I didn't have to do a whole lot of chopping. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this shrimp and sit my butt down. I am tired and I am so lazy. I'm totally not even gonna get my tripod <laughs> to make this video. So I'm just gonna unload this and I'll show you guys afterwards. I kept hearing noise when I was in here and I thought it was Stella waking back up, but she is totally completely out. I went and got the monitor. I think the AC is on, so I need to double check that. That seems high. Um, anyway, I had to go get that because I was thinking it might be her making the noise. It's actually just dogs barking. It took me a second to figure out what it was, They're like whining and barking. So I got the monitor so I can keep an eye on her. And done. And you can see how good my no dishes in the sink it's gone. <laughs> it did not work out today. She's back, so tap time. All right, I'm sitting on the couch. I'm so tired, I didn't even want to hold the phone, so I put it up on the tripod. I just didn't want to go get it while I was doing the dishwasher. I have so much to catch you guys up on. They're adjusting the bath water, if you hear some noise. They're making the bath water just right, and they're also filling up balloons, <laughs> like having water balloons, and then letting the water balloons squirt. The time has been real fun lately, so you're going to hear water on and off, but anyway... I've got my tea, I filled it up so I could just sit here and enjoy my tea for a little while. Today was an ish show, 
<laughs> it was just crazy. So we were getting ready to go at 1230 so we could be there on time for the inspection. I'm running around and my phone rings. It's our realtor. And so I talked to him while I'm like rushing, trying to get everything ready. The inspector has a conflict. He can't be there until later. What time works? And so we work out that after school pickup, as I'm getting ready for school pickup, I get another call. It's actually from the inspector this time. It's about an hour before I'm supposed to meet him at the house. And he says he's at the house and they're not ready for the inspection yet. He's like telling me the grass isn't done yet. So he can't tell us about the grading and the, the irrigation system. That's stuff he wants to inspect. It's not done yet. There's a couple things that are still needing to be done in the house. And so he's just not ready to do an inspection. He doesn't feel confident that he can. And he was recommended from our realtor. He's a longtime friend of our realtor. He's given it to me straight. He's like, I've seen this happen before. It's not a big deal with builders. You know, things are happening up till basically like the last second. And he said, we're not ready to do the inspection. I don't want to give you like a half-hearted inspection. He feels more comfortable giving a full inspection. You know, it's like, it's his job. It's his livelihood. He wants to make sure that we're getting a quality inspection. And I was like, yes, absolutely. We're paying way too much money for this house to half anything. So I really liked that he called me instead of saying, oh, here's the inspection, but here are the blanks that we're missing. He really wants to do his job and make sure that it's as good as possible. And he said, builders do this. They're working to the last minute. He's like, get with the building manager and we will see when we can do an inspection. Maybe tomorrow if they're done by tomorrow or maybe Friday or maybe into next week. Basically, we have a week until we close. We were supposed to do the inspection today and we're supposed to have the walkthrough on Friday so we can get the report back before the walkthrough. That's kind of like the game plan. And that's just not happening at this point. As I'm scrambling to go for school pickup, I'm talking to the realtor and he coordinates with the building manager. We're doing the walkthrough like we already had planned in the morning on Friday, like the time you guys are seeing this, we're having the inspection, not inspection, the walkthrough with the building manager. We're having the walkthrough. As you guys are seeing this video go up, we should be having our walkthrough. And then right after that, we're having the inspection. So it's like not exactly in the right order that everybody wanted things, but that's the way it's gonna get done. And that gives the builder over the weekend and the first part of next week to get it done. And then we close. So it's gonna be a scramble to the finish. And our inspector was wowed by their quality He's worked with them before and he's always really impressed with their quality and their workmanship. And so he doesn't see that there'll be any kind of issue. So he's confident going ahead and doing it with just a few days left until we close. So hopefully there's nothing major going on. And if there is, the company's gonna scramble and get it done because I know they wanna close on the day that we have scheduled. That's just how they've been thus far. They've been absolutely top notch and I know they will fix whatever comes up if anything comes up. So it's just all like formalities and going through the motions at this point. And it's a sprint to that finish line. Our building manager said they are gonna have crews in there working all day tomorrow, getting ready for this walkthrough. Just like boom, 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 back to back, finishing up every last detail, every last final touch to the house. And they put the yard in today. We didn't even make it over there. Like I have more stories to tell you guys. Um, we didn't even make it over there today, but the realtor took a picture of the yard. The backyard had been done. He told me they're getting the shelves in and the tile hasn't been done. Those are the two things left on our like list to do. So uh, the shelving was going in. He said it looks good and the yard's going in and he took the picture. I'll insert the picture like somewhere over here. A couple of things today. I listed a couple things to get rid of today. The glider. The rocking chair that only has the one handle. We're getting rid of it since Livy just hates, not Livy. I called her Livy. <laughs> since Stella absolutely hates rocking in the rocking chairs, I kept the big one because I hope one day that we can sit in the big one together and read stories or stuff because that one was one that Livy had for years, you know, to use that rocking chair for years. So I'm hoping that we will still use that one, but I got rid of the one that I used like at nighttime nursing sessions because I just lay on the bed with her. I'm propped up on pillows, like leaning back like so with her on the bobby. So that's what we've been doing every nighttime nursing session. That's why we put her in the room with the bed. Um, I was getting rid of that. I also was getting rid of the Graco swing. And then also I have like this mini high chair thing that I never ended up using and I don't want to use. So I got rid of it as well. So I dropped one off and then I had people come to the porch to pick up the other two things. And I loved that I could pass those things on. And it's kind of sad like, getting rid of that rocker because I used that so many nights, just for hours and hours, so many nights with uh, Olivia in the first few months. That one I can just lean all the way back and like half sleep while I'm nursing her. And so I'm on the way, Johnny calls me in the middle of like me calling back and forth with everybody 
He's trying to scramble and get ready to go. I call him on the way and miss my turn to drop off stuff to one lady. I end up having to turn myself around, drop the stuff off to her. And so when I get in the car, it's like 85 degrees today. This comes to story number two. I get in the car, the AC's working. Five minutes into it, the AC stops working. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating to death and it's getting really hot and rolling down windows and my AC in the car has not been working consistently for probably a good month or so and I'm like I really hope that it'll make it until it gets super hot or until we close on the house and then I'll take it in. So this is a whole ordeal with the CRV. So my AC one day just stops blowing cold air. It's still blowing. It's not blowing hot air but it's not blowing cold air and sometimes it will work and blow normally and sometimes it won't work and it just blows like room temperature air. A lot of times it works and then sometimes it doesn't work and it's just enough to irritate me and it's just enough to be inconvenient. And of course this happens right after my maintenance so I am never going back to the same place that I took it because it happened right after my maintenance and it was just really shady and I took it right back a couple of days after this started and I was like listen you know I just had my maintenance what the heck happened did you guys puncture something like what happened and they're like oh we didn't do anything blah 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 and they said we can diagnose your AC and give you a loaner car and it'll take like a day to diagnose it between them being busy with everybody but it cost $200 to diagnose so I took it in a day that it was cold and they ran an air conditioning check so like they're checking the temperature coming out of all of the different vents and whatever and since it was a cold day it was blowing cold air not ac air it was blowing cold outside temperature air which was already cold so it tested fine for this like test that they did and that was free of charge and he's like okay since it's just doing it inconsistently how about right now you just take it home monitor it and and if it keeps happening like was it a cold day was it a hot day has your carbon running for a while does it cut off mid drive all these things like he's saying keep track of and then you can bring it back and we can do the diagnostics which costs two hundred dollars and it requires me to have a loaner car because they're so overbooked and ridiculously busy and I was like I'm not paying two hundred dollars to get my car diagnosed I'm gonna find somebody who will diagnose my car for free and then I'll pay them to fix it and so we ended up finding somebody else. Johnny ended up getting a recommendation from somebody at work. I got recommendations from the neighborhood group. And so today, five minutes into me driving in 80 degree weather, it was really, really hot. And I uh, called Johnny. You can tell my phone to call Johnny and it can be hands-free through the car. So I call him while I'm driving and I said, okay, text me the address of this place. Cause as soon as I pick Olivia up, we're taking it in. I'm finally getting it done. I don't care if we're closing it next week. I don't care if the whole unit has to be replaced. I can't have the kids in this really hot car. And I am super sweating, like sweating down my legs, sweating in this car. And so since it's 80 degrees, that's what's blowing through the AC. It's 80 degree heat. <laughs> we go straight there, take it in. And at first, like I'm looking at this place and it's like really hole in the wally, very country. There's like chickens roaming. And at first I was like, what in the world are we getting ourselves into? But the people are super duper nice and just really like above and beyond helpful and sweet. And it's a family run thing. I told him who recommended the place. My husband's coworker recommended this place. And I told him the name and he's like, oh yeah, we know this family. And I told him, yeah, my husband works with so-and-so and he's like oh so he does software like he even knew the family like what the guy did and it was crazy so it's like a really family run down home place and the guy's grandson came out and played with Livy for a little while he's a three-year-old they played with water and like little sharks and little trucks and stuff and it was super cute we got to meet one of the chickens like it has a name <laughs> and it's just like the cutest down home type of place and thank goodness they could diagnose my car right then and we have to take it back tomorrow and it's going to be kind of annoying <laughs> to take it back but they're going to squeeze me in between their other work because it's such a small thing it's just an air conditioning valve and also the air conditioning unit has to be charged so he already charged it and he will have to recharge it if it needs to be charged again but it's just a an easy fix. It's like a $600 fix, a little bit more than that. And thank goodness the whole unit doesn't have to be replaced, which is what I was worried about. You long timers have been here since we bought the car. We bought it when Olivia was, I don't know, like five or six months old. When she switched to the convertible car seat, I could no longer use Johnny's car. I was fed up. I needed a new car. And the reason we got it in the first place was my Civic was a two-door car. 
and I got it when I was in high school. I was not thinking in the future. I just wanted the cool looking Civic and it was a two door and it was not made for car seats. So I ended up switching cars with Johnny and he has a small car and it was not working. So I'm so glad I got the CRV. It's a great size, even with two kids in the back. And just this AC unit thing where like, gosh, the car's like four years old. The AC unit should not be messing up. And we're thinking we're probably gonna have to replace the whole thing. But I was really hopeful because it sometimes would work. So I thought it's probably not completely useless. And I'm so glad that it's just some valve that needs to be fixed. And it's a relatively cheap fix for an AC unit. Like I thought when the whole thing needed to be replaced, it was gonna be a couple thousand dollars. This is the first major car thing for either of our cars, like an actual thing that broke down. We've always done the maintenance. So sometimes the maintenance can be expensive, but this is the first like, there's an actual problem. It has to be fixed type deal. And you have to have an AC in Texas. I, I was just miserable today and I still feel like barely cooled off. <laughs> and it's been hours since then, but I'm so glad I can take it in tomorrow and get it fixed. And thankfully, Livy's spring break starts tomorrow. So she's going to be off the remainder of this week and then all of next week. We have one minor appointment tomorrow. So we're all going to go to it anyway. So we're just going to take Johnny's car instead of my car. And then I'll just stay home and see her. Balloons are still hanging on. They may even come with us to the new house. They're still hanging on. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'm just going to sit and relax. They're doing bath time and... It's going to be bedtime in the next like 10 or 15 minutes for Livy. So then it's just going to be sitting on the couch, relaxed time, kid free, quiet time. And hopefully Stella will sleep pretty good. Yeah, she's just a mess today because she got that shot yesterday. It's always so rough. Her leg is sore from the shot. So I could tell she was just not using it as much, not kicking as much today. But she'll be bouncing back the next couple of days and be fine. But it was rough there this afternoon a little bit. She loved being at the car shop because she got to watch the chickens and Livy was playing in the water and splashing. And Stella was just watching her and screaming and squealing and being really happy. So that was a really good distraction. She just got tired because she ended up having just one nap today. Anyway, that's going to wrap up today's vlog. As you guys are seeing this, if you're seeing it on Friday, it's going to be one of our main days. I will be vlogging on Friday and I will put that up for you guys next week. Probably that'll be my Wednesday video. I think I already have my grocery video ready for Monday. I'll have the inspection day vlog for you guys next week and then we close next week. So hopefully my Friday video will be something special. I planned out something special for the closing day video. I will be vlogging a little bit that day as well. And then we move in the following week. So it's gonna be super fun. We're getting down to the last little bit. We're almost there, <laughs> almost at the finish line. And I just can't wait to live there. I'm just so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Check out the vlog playlist. If you missed anything, I'll link it down below. And that's it. So have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.